actually do that one. Here. Hi guys, my name is Shauna J. Ray. Thanks for joining me today for my video. I want to make sure you like, subscribe, and please comment on my video today. I wanted to start a new series on my channel where I cook family meals for a very inexpensive price and not only just inexpensive but also vegetarian and or vegan. I am vegan for six months now so most of these meals are going to be vegan now um, but obviously there are vegetarian options and you can even add some meat here and there. Um, you can cook your meat products just the same. But in my family we are vegetarian so I will show you how I cook our family meals. Today I'm going to be doing burgers for lunch and they're kind of restaurant style like when you go out and you have a restaurant burger they're not really like McDonald's or anything like that but they are fun they are delicious and the kids love them so this is the burger that we're gonna be cooking today this is a black bean burger you can make these if you like I did just use a pre-made burger some pre-made curly fries just for fun um, I even added a little pickle to the kids, but we add a lot of fun stuff, and I'll show you how to make it. It's a very quick, simple, easy meal that'll feed the whole family for a, a few bucks. So if you can spend for you to go out and feed the family at McDonald's, it's probably half the price. Stay tuned, guys, and see what we have cooking. All right, so first what I did to get started is I warmed up the patties in the microwave oven. Um, while I did the topping for the burgers, I just coat my pan with a little bit of olive oil and then I use the minced garlic that I get um, in a jar. You can actually cut up garlic if you like, but this is just faster and easier for me. That whole thing is about five dollars. So I cut up a whole onion for this. You can use half an onion, but I like a whole onion because I like a lot of onions. You can also dice it, but I like it to be kind of shredded like the ones at the restaurant. And I just cook that down until they're kind of tender. Now here, I start adding in some mushrooms. I use about a quarter of this pack, I think this is about a pound of mushrooms. Um, I only use like a few, like a little handful, and I just dice them up into chunks and dump that in there as well and cook it down a bit. Now once that's cooked down, I go in, I have some sweet peppers. You can use an actual bell pepper for this, but since it's not a lot, I like to use the little sweet peppers. And I just dice those up and add those in there. It adds a little bit of color in there, as well as some vitamins that, you know, it's not a problem adding. Then I put a dash of seasoned salt over this. You don't need it, but it just brings out the flavor that much more. Now for me, I like spicy food, so I go in and I dice up half of a scotch bonnet or habanero pepper, and I add that in there as well. It just adds a nice tint of spice that lingers in your mouth. Of course, you can exclude this if you don't like spicy things, or use a different type of pepper that's not as spicy. I use the Morningstar black bean, spicy black bean burgers for this. And I just started off by using the bread, adding a little ketchup to the bottom half. I don't know what's on my arm from cooking. But then I go in, I just put the patty on top of that. I like a little guac, nothing, um, avocado never hurt anybody, so I like to add a little bit of avocado, that's my little bit. <laughs> nice little dollop there. Then I didn't have any lettuce, but you can use lettuce or spinach, and just top that on there. That's good, lots of vitamins in that as well. Vitamins and healthy fats galore here. Then I love tomatoes, so this is probably like a whole Roma tomato that, I'm, that I sliced up and tried to stack on top of this burger. But of course,
So I didn't have any vegan cheese, but this is my alternative. I try to keep a can of this around at all times. Nutritional uh, yeast. It's got a cheesy flavor to it, and it's also got added nutrients, so you can't go wrong with that. And I just top it a little bit with that to just add to like the cheesiness. Or uh, again, you could use any type of cheese. Now that's my bad. I forgot the beautiful sauteed onions and mushrooms. But go ahead and top on there with that. That's going to add another beautiful flavor to this burger. And this is where it makes, you know, it not so plain and, and regular as well. And then you can just top it. The burger is all done. I might have overloaded it a bit, but that's how I like my burgers. Throw some french fries on the side. And I just added some pickles. And there you have it. It's kind of like eating out for a quarter of the price and it's just as good, maybe even better. And I made lunch for me and the kids, so we're going to dig into that, cut it up for the baby. And there it is. Beautiful, isn't it? About to dig in, guys. Mm. That's good. That's really, really good. The onions are like falling out. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Spice and it's like perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my lunch. And hopefully y'all tag me if you ever make this delicious freaking sandwich. Please tag me on any of my social medias at Shauna J. Ray and tell me how you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.